Yeah, I've really been enamored with this idea of the anthology, you know. I mean, Ryan Murphy can't have all the fun. Like, I'm going to be <laughs> able to play with that. But also, I think there's a real kind of muscularity to uh, storytelling when there are limits, because you got to exercise different muscles. And so, um, in this, not only is it an anthology where it'll change couples every season, but also within each episode, it's only one day, and there's no B story. So you're always with uh, Gently and Evan. You're not cutting away to see what the wacky little brother is doing. You're always with these two people, and you're falling in love with the other through their point of view. And so, um, you know, when you're writing episodes, that B and sometimes C story comes in real handy. Um, so as writers in the room, it was really um, a beautiful challenge to try to stay within the form and the limits that we'd set for ourselves. Oh, that was so fun. Yeah. It's so yeah. rare and exciting to get to do long form scenes. Just the <laughs> yeah. two of us, monologues, and like to say, these characters say how they feel. Yeah. That almost reminded me of Shakespeare in that way. Like, I mean, there was a lot of stuff like on the inside, but we were like saying a lot of how we felt, and it was just cool to get a chance to do but that. Also, it was just also beautiful nuance, too, you know, to find how we got to those moments, you know. So there's a there was a chance for us to play, so we got a lot of meat to play with. And when you have another actress that you're working across and some brilliant directors and great Ava, Ava over here with writing and, and her energy behind it and us having conversations about it, it allowed us to really dive in and, and explore. So Strong characters. Yeah, strong characters. Love is possible. Is Love is blind, you know. Love is possible regardless of where what back background you come from. Um, and I love what she's done in the sense that normally now it's all about apps, you know, but we get a chance to bump into each other, which has this, and it's not, it shouldn't be nostalgic. That shouldn't be the word that we use, but it is in a sense, you know, and, it, and it's so beautiful and it feels rare and precious. Um, and that's what love is. It's rare and it's precious and it's complicated and it's all these things, but it's about the moments. You know what I mean? It's, especially, it's all about the moments and that first kiss, that first time you looked in someone's eyes, that first time you hugged, the first, the first time you touched, all those things are so important and we just skim by them now. And not anymore. <laughs> I love love stories. One of my, 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 the actors I work with on Wrinkle in Time, Mindy Kaling, loves rom coms. But I love dramas. Mm. Love dramas like notebook, like dramas. I want there to be crying. I want there to be <laughs> stopping out of the room and then coming back together. So to be able to do that and make one is really kind of, kind of, kind of dreamy with no, you know, social causes, with no historical context. I didn't have to do any research. It was just, you know, in a room with writers who I respected talking about love and letting the characters just be. Um, you know, I'm not just from here. I love it here. I love Los Angeles. And I think, you know, um, the, the, the uh, ethnic communities of Los Angeles are ones that haven't been as fully explored on screen. Mm. Um, and, you know, the places where we're from, when it's on screen, it's usually rife with a lot of politics or, um, you know, kind of social commentary. And this is just, you know, two black folks sitting on the curb on a first date eating cheesecake. They happen to be in Inglewood, but, you know... That happens there too. Mm -hmm. And so in all the ways that I've been, we've been able to watch kind of the majority culture fall in love in every scenario possible. Mm -hmm. And I love every bit of it. I really long to see those um, scenarios with folks that look like me. Mm -hmm.